Okay everyone, so here's a quick lesson on the CPU. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the purpose of the CPU, be able to explain how the CPU works using the fetch decode execute cycle. You should also be able to explain the different factors that affect the speed of the CPU. Here is a picture of the CPU. The CPU is a component which is connected to the motherboard. Without going into it in too much detail, the CPU simply just receives and follows instructions. It's basically just a component which processes data. The CPU processes data by following the fetch decode execute cycle. The CPU will fetch data from main memory. It will bring it back to the CPU, decode what it needs to do, and then execute the instructions and write them back to main memory. This diagram demonstrates how the CPU interacts with memory when it's processing data. The CPU will request data from the cache. If it's not at the cache, it will then request it from the RAM. It then gets this memory from the RAM or the cache, brings it back to the CPU, and then obviously processes the data. Now there are a few factors which affect the speed of the CPU. The three main factors we're going to be looking at is the clock speed, the number of cores, and the cache size. The CPU clock coordinates all the computer's components using synchronized electrical pulses. The frequency of the pulses per second is known as the clock speed, and the higher the frequency, the more instructions can be performed in one second. Every time the CPU clock ticks, an instruction is executed. Now the amount of processes a computer can carry out at one given time is dependent on the amount of cores that the CPU has. The more cores that the CPU has, the more instructions can be processed at one time. A single core processor will allow one instruction to be processed at a time. A dual core processor will allow for two instructions to be processed at one time. A quad core processor will allow for four instructions to be processed at one time. Cache is going to be the final factor we're going to be looking at. Cache is a small amount of memory which is stored directly on the CPU. It's exactly like RAM, but smaller and a lot more faster. Data can be processed a lot faster if you have more cache. This is because the processor doesn't have to wait for instructions to be fetched from the RAM. It can get it from a closer source, which is the cache. If we refer back to this diagram, we can see that the cache memory is a lot more closer than the RAM. This means that it is quicker to fetch data from the cache than it is from the RAM. The more cache you have, the more data you can store closer to the CPU, which again just speeds up the whole fetch decode execute cycle. So that's the end of our video lesson everyone. You should now understand the purpose of the CPU. You should be able to explain how the CPU works using the fetch decode execute cycle. You should also be able to explain some different factors which affect the speed of the CPU.